Hi everyone and welcome. Um, sorry about that. I wanted to make sure the camera was going because I didn't see it and it's down at the bottom. But I want to show you how I made these really cute little mint boxes. This is going to be another one of thing from a craft fair. I'm working on these tonight. And these are really super cute. This is um, a cut file from Silhouette. But I'm going to show you how to make them without using the Silhouette. And um, they're, they're really super easy. This one was made without the Silhouette. And all I did was round the corners. You just don't have uh, this fancy little... Um, almost looks like a tag punch, but I bet you if you had like a small tag die that was two and a half inches or two inches, you could um, cut like a decorative top on there. So I'm going to show you how I made this one. At first, um, what you're going to do is you're going to need a piece of paper that is, uh, I'm going to turn this so I can see. And I'll, let me get some glasses on. It's going to be five and one half inches long. So we're going to go five and one half on top of some candy here. And then it's going to be by two and one half inches wide. So we have our piece and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this and we're going to uh, score this at one. You're going to score it at one and a half, three and one fourth, and three and three fourths. And that's all the scoring that you're going to do on this piece. And then we're just going to fold these creases. Hold on, let me let the dog out. Come on. I'm sorry, they've been wanting out a lot. There's um, been a couple foxes in the yard. And we had to stop them from trying to go after our chicken, so the dogs have been out there. Okay, so now we have this all folded, and the small part is going to be your uh, where your where your flap is. So all we're going to do is we're going to take our quarter rounder or a quarter punch, or you don't even have to do the quarter rounded if you don't want to. Um, let me get this side; I like it better. And we're just going to sn uh, snip the corner off. And that's all we're going to do for that piece. Now the band is going to be four and a half inches long. I want to get the color in there. Four and a half inches. And this is a good way to use up scraps. By uh, one half inch wide. And then what you're going to do is you're going to score this at, uh, let me make sure, look at my notes, one half, and then you're going to score it at one, and then just flip it and score it the same, one half and one. And then we're just going to fold the little creases, make sure that they're folded pretty good. But And then all we're going to do, we're going to take our box here, and we're going to put glue on the two uh, inner tabs that's going to go up against the, the body. There, you'll see where it's creased here. We're not going to do that there, just right here and here. So, I'll 
me a napkin there. I have to see how to stop my videos from like when I move. Um, it distorts everything on here. Hoping my son comes up soon so he can show me how to. It's something in the resolutions or something. But we're going to just glue that up against the side. And one of those boxes of mints, let me uh, get one of them while this is drying. Okay, one of those boxes of mint are, let's see, <clears throat> it makes <clears throat> one pack shy of five. So you, you get four packs and you're shy one mint. Because I put six in each one. So you get quite a few out of them. And you really can make your money on them in a craft fair. Or not even doing them for a craft fair. You could give these out to uh, teachers. At, to, for their kids to give to the teachers. Um, we're, I'm going to do a bunch of these. And I'm going to take some for the craft show. I'm going to take some up to the nursing home. And then I think I'm going to take these because they're going to be quick and easy to the Seeds Kids and let the Seeds Kids make these for Mother's Day. It won't take me a lot of paper. It'll be a lot. Of, I got tons of scraps and I've got a ton of these mints that I'll never um, sell them off. So that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'm getting a cold. But I think the Seeds Kids would really love to do this for Mother's Day. We made cards last year, and I've been with more with them making um, making stuff like this instead of just cards all the time that they can do different things. Because they can make this for their grandma. Some of them are in foster care. They can make that for their foster parents. Some of them ask me, I have... <clears throat> two moms or two dads can i make two and i always yes yes you can and my grandma because she takes care of us or whatever but i always let them make as as many as they would like to make so and mine actually the one that we made look at how nice that one holds those in there this one is from the silhouette now watch when i open that or wait a minute, this, no, this is the one I made. One of these has, see, they slide. So I, I'm going to shorten that band on my silhouette program. But I don't even know, I probably won't even, it's, I'm just going to start cutting a bunch like this because it's quicker to cut them and do them this way than it is for me to sit and wait for um, the silhouette uh, program to load. So we got this here. We're just gonna bring that over and hold that there. If you wanna make um, decorative paper to put in there, like if you wanted to offset it like these ones are, the paper for that is for the front and the back is two and a quarter by one and a half. And the little tiny strips that go on the sides and the top are one quarter by two and a fourth. So if you want to make that to have those, you could piece them on there. So now the next thing we're going to do is... Um, I just bought a big roll of this because I ran out of the other one and I've just been snipping this off a little piece and then what I do is I cut it in half and I end up with another really small piece so I get two pieces out of that one because you don't need a really big piece for it and then you could put a sentiment on here you could put whatever you want and then I've been uh, putting some of these bowls on here too. I kind of like the bowl uh, on here better than just doing the bling. This was the one with the bowl. So I bought these bowls off eBay. 
two years ago, and I, I mean, I use them all the time. There were so many in here, and I have tons and tons, but a lot of my the main colors that I use is gone. So let's get a white one here, because the purple are no longer in here. So I'm going to glue this on here. And this is, like I said, super easy to make. I made the one with the Silhouette program, which it was way faster making the one, cutting it and scoring it uh, less time than waiting for the cutter to cut. And then I don't have to worry about buying blades. So I want to show you the one <clears throat> that I made. And thank you. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Please give me thumbs up. And uh, please comment on my video. You know, let me know if you like it or what you'd like to see. And thank you and have a great week.